So welcome. Um, we're just going to make a quick Valentine's card today and it's so simple. We're going to use the machine and we're going to use the machine to punch holes through the card and then a dramatic card underneath so that it really brings it out. Um, I'm using an old needle because this will blunt your needle and um, let's do it. Thank you. Hello there. So, a quick Valentine's card. So, I'm going to use a piece of grease proof paper, grease proof paper. I have a card here and some red card. Obviously, red's the name of the game. What I'm going to do is just draw a quick design on the grease proof paper, but I'm going to make sure that I don't go larger than the card itself. And I'm just going to draw a nice big heart. And then I'm going to use the card to cut out my design. Put a heart in the middle again and another heart. So make those as realistic as possible. And keep that safe, we're going to need that in a moment. replace the sewing machine needle after you've used it. Um, they do get blunt anyway. This one's already blunt so it's it's um, might as well do it. Finish it off for good. So I'm just going to pin that there and pin that again at the bottom. This is just to keep it safe. Um, it's going to be quite slippery. I'm going to keep the grease proof paper on there because I'm going to use that as a guide. So I'm going to cut down the outside heart and only stick that on, but I'm going to use these lines uh, as my guide for the design. So here goes. As you can see, it's more happy than it's ever been, this machine. It has no problem sewing through thin card. And because I've done the design on the grease free paper, then um, there's no marking on the red paper or the red card. There literally is just going to be the holes. So this will make it very dramatic. If you have an embroidery machine and uh, an old needle, then of course you can set up a lot more complicated pattern. But sometimes simplicity is the best. So let's go around again. I'm using that as a guideline and I'm just going around to do a second heart around the first half. Obviously if you're borrowing somebody's machine then you might want to ask permission before you do this. I'm just going to put a bob of glue, making sure I put the heart on the right side for opening the card. And there we are. I'm just going to try again with the glue. Ugh. So 
So there we have the basic idea for a very simple card and we can go as decorative as we like. Alright, thank you.